What's going on guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we are going to be starting a new series on Pyro and Revolution, and this is going to be the Commonwealth of Australia. The reason I am stopping doing the Germany series is because, for one, I am not going to be able to pass anything in the Federal Republic of Germany because, um, as of now, there is a bug in which that my party 100% votes against every single piece of legislation that I try to vote for. So um, I believe that is, an, that is a bug with the opposition um, scenario. I have already contacted Eversim with it, but I have no idea what is going on with Eversim because their website is actually down. So I am not really sure if Eversim is even still in operation. So could this actually be the last power in the last uh, geopolitical series who knows um i will update you more on the situation as it develops but um we are going to go ahead and start the commonwealth of australia um we are a continent in the oceanic region we are very very close allies with japan and the united states of america while we also have adversaries in places such as East Timor, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, and especially China. China is a very, 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 um, is basically nearly the enemy of Australia, and we are, um, pretty, pretty, um, uh, conflictual with China. Um, looks like we are actually very, very close with India as well. We are going to be, develop, be, be developing closer ties with Japan in this series, as well as we are going to sign a, a non-aggression or even a support treaty with the Republic of India. Um, especially the United States, we are going to sign an alliance with them, and we are going to be um, looking into importing a lot of things from um, especially the Middle East, so we can get our fresh, fresh oil and um, maybe some raw materials from places such as India. Um, <clears throat> basically, the situation is this. We have a 1.6%, 1.7% uh, budget deficit, and um, <clears throat> here is our military situation. We have a very, very weak military, um, but we are running a conservative rightist movement in the Commonwealth, so we will be able to um, increase our military size with, with ease. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the next day because I did increase funding to wildfire prevention um, as well as we are going to do our usual and we are going to reduce spending on healthcare and we are going to um, build some more hospitals to alleviate the amount of hate that we're going to get from that action we're going to go ahead and give full funding and we're going to put it in every territory it's going to be about two billion dollars and that will be all um then we are going to go to the next day we got 21 percent approval from that public finances and health is um estimated at nearly we're going to go ahead and give them one billion dollars in economic relief and they will have money some left over maybe it will go into the economy um afterward so we are playing um conform it is right um coalition we do not have a majority in um the parliament this is a uh, unfortunate um maybe we can call for an early election and get a majority of seats um, but we are going to go ahead and pass some more legislation. If it ends up that way, then we will um, go ahead and um, we will go ahead and uh, um, wait until 2019. Um, what makes me feel better about this is that our um, leadership is not determined by um, parliamentary elections rather it is directed by a direct vote by the people so this is um giving me more power while it does not give me more power in passing laws it gives me more power in worrying 
about um, staying in power. So um, we are actually going to go ahead and subsidize agriculture by about $20 million each. Um, and we are going to exonerate coffee. We are going to exonerate cocoa. Um, we are going to exonerate uh, 500 million. <clears throat> Australia actually has a similar capital to the United States. Canberra is actually its own capital territory, which is known as the Australian Capital Territory. Um, the Australian Capital Territory um, was created as a mediator between Sydney and Melbourne. Melbourne were competing. Melbourne and Sydney were actually competing to become the, the capital of Australia. A lot of people actually think it's Sydney that's the capital of Australia, but no, it's actually uh, Canberra. So in 1913, um, the Australians created the capital of Australia, which has now become uh, Canberra, um, in order to mediate between Sydney and Melbourne. <clears throat> Melbourne being in Victoria province and uh, Sydney being in the New South Wales uh, province of Australia. So, um, we are actually going to invest in about $500 million of highways, which is about 233 miles. Um, so that's going to take about six months. We're going to go ahead and let that happen. And, um, we're definitely going to be investing in more infrastructure in the future. Um, we are also going to take a look at our, um, energy policy. Um, we have 9,000 fossil energy plants as well. Um, we are, we do not have, um, nuclear energy, which is unfortunate. So we're definitely going to be putting some money into, um, start researching nuclear energy. Um, but we will not be researching our own nuclear weapons program. Um, nuclear weapons is actually... Um, is, is actually banned in the, in New Zealand. Nuclear power, nuclear weapons, everything like that, anything nuclear is banned in New Zealand, um, according to a 1970s um, law that was passed to um, officially make New Zealand a nuclear-free zone, which it is a, which it is actually named the New Zealand um, uh, nuclear-free zone. Um, so this is going to be a basic setup episode. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pump about $200 million into aeronautical, um, construction as well. And we are definitely going to make, um, building hazard and roadway a major sector in our economy. So we're going to throw $1 billion into that and we're going to exonerate it as well. Actually, we're going to raise those exonerations because that is making up 6% of our tax rate. So we're not going to do that. Um, electrical materials. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and exonerate that as well as Household appliances, we're going to go ahead and get that $100 million. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at our taxing. Um, most of it is actually coming off of the value added tax, so we're actually going to increase this by about um, half a percent. We're going to see how that wants to pass. Um, definitely getting a lot of resistance from the left, but from our party, we are actually getting a lot of support from it. So we will get that passed. Um, everyone hates that. But uh, we are actually going to lower taxes on a separate deal. Um, maybe we can actually eliminate the um, employee social security payment. Um, well, actually, that's only making up $16 billion in tax revenue out of 430 Um Definitely going to reduce that um, tax burden on businesses. 66% getting going to pass even better. Um, and then we are going to lower 
um, taxes on the middle class. So let's go ahead and go to the next day, see how people react to these new tax laws. Got a 1% approval jump from... Um, Speaking of the party's bank account, we're going to go ahead and look at our um, laws. Regarding political funding. Okay, it's unlimited. We can do whatever we want. We are actually going to make a solar plant in this area up here. And that is good. Full funding. And then we are actually going to be cutting funding. Oh no. With our like piss poor... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and send the military, and we cannot deal with that. That is a lot of people. Oh, uh, they're going for the television building. No, but they're actually not. We actually have bases overseas? Huh, we actually do. Let's actually start bombing ISIS. Hopefully we have the appropriate um, stuff with Iraq. No, we got nationwide protests. I highly doubt they would be happening in the islands. Huh, we got a, another wildfire. I'm gonna go ahead and give them about 30 million dollars. Nah, we're gonna keep to our own realm, actually. Looks like we do have a typhoon in the Indian Ocean. Center for Volcanic Studies. Barely has a population. But it has a military presence. Heard Island and McDonald Island. Okay, we're gonna give them seven hundred million dollars. Hopefully, it doesn't accuse us of saying, "Oh, oh never mind." And we're gonna rehabilitate three thousand housing. Maybe we're gonna give them some more welfare in the next episode. We're going to actually aim to put that at one dollar. I 
And let's check our currency. 1.48%. It's actually going down. What's our growth rate looking like? It's about 2%. 3% actually. It's a healthy, healthy um, growth rate for a modern nation. Which actually are... We're going to go ahead and aim for a $2 trillion... Um, GDP. We're gonna definitely going to be subsidizing our sectors, make sure that they're developing properly. Um, I don't think we're going to invest in an aircraft carrier yet, um, but maybe we will invest in our own ships and drones, as well as tires and satellites and tanks. All right, and as in a case of tobacco, don't okay, we are going to put that at one dollar and see where that takes us. People would actually like that, and See if we can jump that up to two dollars, and see if people like that. I I think that's a bug. We're gonna go ahead and try that though. Okay, sixty-eight percent. Okay, we are raising that to two dollars, and we're actually gonna go ahead and skip to um, when that will pass. It's one of the actually rare times I've ever actually uh, um, increased taxes on um, anything. Hey, we actually have a military base in East Timor, and we actually have a military base in Malaya. So, um, we actually do have an established military presence in our region. Maybe we can grow more ties with New Guinea and um, establish one there. Let's go ahead. Issuance of $3 billion of debt. Um, and our tax bill will actually... Same-sex marriage, maybe. Which actually, they did actually legalize it. I actually should legalize it. We can do better. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next day, because that is actually when the law passes. Okay, let's see how much we make off of that now. We are making $3.7 million. It's probably going to go up. Um, you can actually tax it by more than... Grenade attack at post office. Um, and we actually have some healthy gro growth figures. Um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all this. And uh, let's look at our military. We're going to continue to raise this. We're going to go ahead and throw it up at to um, 100,000 active duty service members. Um, Timor, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and allow that. And 30,000 people are protesting because of pacifism. Um, looks like we actually do have a, um, it's actually a political party wanting to cause trouble. Um, but their intervention is actually going down. Two hundred twenty-five. 
keeping a close eye on the situation. Um, let's actually call for more police. We need to get that up to about 500,000. We're not meeting with anyone yet. Forest fire. Okay, we're probably going to get getting these messages for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and see how many donations we actually got for the forest fires. Because yeah, Australia actually does get a lot. Um, we got... $150 million in international donations, while China got $2 billion. They got $3 billion in United States has $200 million with an estimated nearly $1 billion damage in coal wave. I'm going to go ahead and give uh, chemical pollution full funding. We actually have a healthy budget deficit, and we can actually invest in more um, stuff. We're actually going to go ahead and check on our illegal immigrant situation. Uh, we can actually arrange for more deportations soon enough. And... Um, real estate tax... Um, we're going to go ahead and reduce that to four. And after that, we will go ahead and close up this episode of the Commonwealth of Australia, which actually we're going to go ahead and see when that passes, which is actually going to be on the 2nd of May. So, um, again, I do apologize for not continuing, um, the Federal Republic of Germany. I really wanted to do so, but it was either I, I A, restarted the series, or B, um, went down, um, an election right as I started a game, and I really do not feel comfortable doing that, but... Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and end this episode right here. If you guys like this, go ahead and like and subscribe if you are new. And like, 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 like this video um, immediately. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode of the Commonwealth of Australia.